Hello, it's Miss Joy, aka Miss Trying to Figure It All Out. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. Yeah, 51 is still trying to figure it out. <laughs> oh, trying to figure it all out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm not functioning on much sleep. <laughs> So, hopefully I will still have a pretty good night. I'm hoping. I'm just going to do some quick hair for work as usual. I'm kind of wondering what the weekend is going to be because I, I'm i pretty sure that me and Aubrey are still going to do something for my birthday. But only if I'm off. <laughs> if I'm not off, it's it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> and I mean, when I say off for me, that's Sunday. So, but yeah, I'm not functioning on much sleep. My alarm went off. I was like, ooh. <sighs> Leave it. <laughs> oh. But I had lots of people, um, not lots, <laughs> some people, a few people ringing in and sending me happy birthday messages. Thank you to you guys that told me happy birthday on my channel, sent me messages. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, earlier I did a video and I promise you I said oh my goodness like about 10 times I was like I'm gonna have to stop this everything is not oh my goodness <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. just gonna do a quick bandit style today I already got my veggie dogs together. I have my yogurt in the freezer. Once I started putting my yogurt in the freezer, it was hard to <laughs> eat my yogurt any other way. <laughs> I do like having my yogurt in the freezer. Frozen, rather. It doesn't seem like it's quite as humid today, which is nice. Dressing table is looking all kind of crazy as usual. <laughs> Hopefully, if if I'm off Sunday, I'm hoping that what I if we, me and Aubrey get together and do stuff for my birthday, I first thing I want to do is go hiking. <laughs> get a nice hike in or a nice some sort of walk in. I that's the first thing that I want to do. <laughs> get out and spend some time with nature. Get some exercise. I always enjoy that. I always have. One time, when I was I was still married, you guys. But one time, I had taken Aubrey and her dad to where I used to I used to jog a lot at this one park, and um, <laughs> one time I just I don't even remember why they came, but I took them. Um, we all went so they could jog with me for the first time, and 
they were like what is going on that was so hilarious <laughs> oh <laughs> they were like mm -mm. <laughs> Because when I would jog or walk, like even when I walk, even now, I like to walk for a long time. Like, <laughs> or even now, if I go to the gym, I don't like to just be at the gym for like <laughs> 30 or 45 minutes. I like to work out for a long time when I go. But I've always been like that. Healthy looking and still work out. <laughs> bands, what time is it? Doing good on time. I've been getting to work. I don't want to jinx myself talking about how I've been getting to work a little bit earlier, but I have. I'll break this rubber band. I have been getting to work earlier, you guys. I've been getting up and just getting to my routine instead of just laying there and <laughs> trying to ignore my alarm so i'm glad about that it's a good thing Sometimes my when I band my hair, if you guys have seen me band it, it um, sometimes if I have like sometimes I'll use just conditioner and sometimes like conditioner and gel, and then sometimes I'll use conditioner and then put a moisturizer, and then use gel. And sometimes if when I do that, it'll get a little bit too maybe saturated and all the creams and gels and stuff start to come out through my in between my bands but it always you know i i squeeze some of it out but for the most part i don't worry about it because by the time i get to work it's kind of like soaked in, it you know it's absorbed put it that way um this edge brush is killing me y'all, but it <laughs> Get this done. I'm wearing a sleeveless t-shirt today, one of my tore up work shirts. My intentions went while me and Aubrey were out, um, went to the move and went to the movies my intentions was to go and get a like a pack of t-shirts that I can just use for work shirts and sometimes I'll find like graphic tees and stuff on sale and I'll use those because I don't there's no need for me to spend a whole lot on my work shirts because they'll get holes and rips and tears and stinky and smelly and oily <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to just go out and buy like I wouldn't go out and buy a Donna <laughs> Karen or you know Donna Karen. or a polo or something that wouldn't make any sense at all to wear something like that to work I'm talking about just a pack of like uh, Hanes or whatever brand t-shirts <laughs> yesterday when I was at work something unexpected happened so like I'm doing my inspections out on the floor you guys and 
I'm thinking it's late enough that the engineers are gone, you know, my supervisor's gone. My supervisor was gone, but my supervisor, supervisor, like my other supervisor, I guess you could say, was still there. And he was there. He started walking towards a place where I was doing an inspection. And he had the customer with him. I was thought, oh my goodness, I can't even escape. That was the first thing I thought is how can I get out of this? Because I'm like, I'm not knowing what to expect. I'm expecting to have to answer some questions maybe <laughs> or demonstrate something like, and when I say demonstrate, like he might ask me, can you go check, you know, do a test on this and, you know, for me and which requires accuracy <laughs> which I have confidence in myself but it's just like you guys know how I am with my anxiety and stuff so I saw when I saw him coming it was like in slow motion you guys I was like oh my lord <laughs> where is that hole in the floor I can just fall down into <laughs> oh but it was all good and they didn't stay long and the interaction that we did have was nice and brief and you know i i felt like i i did what needed to be done in that moment <laughs> i definitely work a job that you can't fake it like you can't pretend like you know because you just there's no way you either know or you don't <laughs> so Let me have some coffee today I have some of that um, blue spirulina in my bag from yesterday. I didn't even get a chance to fix it yesterday because I was like, I just, I just took the spirulina powder and I was like, you know what, I'll just fix this when I get a chance at work and I never got a chance. So I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> Do something a little with my eyebrows, not a whole lot. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to act if I was able to actually grow my eyebrows like back. <laughs> I would be like, I'm so sorry, eyebrows, what I did to you. Something simple for the factory. <laughs> My eyebrows don't look horrible, but they don't look great. <laughs> have all these eyebrow brushes and every time it's time to do my eyebrows I'm looking maybe I have too many brushes sometimes when you have too many options so my nail tech got back with me and um, I'm gonna go Saturday morning I'm almost 100% that I'll be working Saturday afternoon, but it'll be my eight hour shift. So I, I'm not even worried about lacking sleep or anything like that, because I know that once I'm off work that night, you know, I can take it easy or, you know, catch up on rest, whatever I need to do. I have this big 
pot that I had, used to have a banana leaf plant in, but I, um, that thing, I don't know, something kept, I think it, we have spiders. <laughs> I think it was spiders. I don't know. But something, a bug kept getting in it. Like, I have to think it was a spider. Maybe not. And it was destroying it. And so I ended up moving it outside for um, last summer. It stayed outside the whole summer. And it did pretty well, but not as well as the summer before that. I mean, I had had it for quite a while. And then it just got to the point where I was like, mm -mm, I'm just tired of fighting this. And I never had that happen with any of my other plants. So I, I don't know exactly what it was, but it was something, it had to be a spider or something getting in there. Maybe not necessarily a spider. I'm just saying spider because that's the only thing I could think that would be, you know, getting in the plant pot indoors. So. Throw some little studs in. This is the time I regret taking my earrings out, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes I just do the most with these eyebrows. I just went all over the place with one of them. Hold on. What time is it? <laughs> Give me a start tripping now. Uh, so yeah, when I got up, yeah, and I went to the license bureau. It was off the chain in there. And I was so glad I went when I did because it seemed like once I sat down, like more and more, you know, it really started getting kind of crazy. It was very busy. But I have to say, when I got there, it once I got there, it moved very quickly. I mean, I probably was only sitting down. I was sitting down waiting less than 10 minutes, I know. So they, they moved very quickly. They always do with that one. And I was concerned. I told you guys earlier, I was concerned about the documents having the... I only needed my driver's license and I did the eight year <laughs> so I was like yes <laughs> and I was so pleased with the picture that I took for my license <laughs> my last license I had my last couple of license uh driver's license that I had maybe even the last few people that would see it would be like oh my gosh I love your picture take such a good driver's license picture. I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, eyebrows. I'm not going to be fooling with these eyebrows too much longer. Sometimes it's just a matter of getting them straight. And y'all know I can get a little OCD when it comes to... <sighs> We just we just gonna stop here, okay? We're gonna do that, okay? Thank you, eyebrows. Thank you. <laughs> Put some mascara on. Try not to feel sleepy. <laughs> My older, I told you guys, my older neighbor that's lived in his townhouse for like, I think he said like 20 years or something crazy. He's lived in his townhouse. But I saw him on the camera last week. I think I told you guys. 
but I I had gone to work already and Abriel either she was asleep or taking a nap. She had gotten home or something. Anyway, um so when I saw him on the camera I was concerned, like, I wonder what he wants. And I ended up going um over the weekend, this past weekend, I said, Well, I'm gonna stop and um Sometimes he'll have packages outside his door and he will not know. And I don't know if it's because he's upstairs in his townhouse and he's, you know, he's in his 90s, you guys. So I'm like, and it takes him a while to get downstairs. But so I, he had two packages out there that were outside of his door. And even though we've never had any knock on wood, <laughs> any kind of theft or anything out, you know, in this apartment community that I know of, I still wanted him to know he had packages out there and I wanted to find out what he what he wanted. So I was knocking on his door, knocking and knocking, and he he never answered the door. So I went ahead and um we came on in and did some stuff and then later on I watered all my plants and I was watering the plant out front, my outside my front door. And his townhouse is like kind of up, like we each have a landing, so it's kind of up. And I just looked over and I saw that he had gotten his packages. So I was glad about that. Maybe me knocking was just enough for him to be alerted that something was at the door. And I've done that for him before. Um, because you know we have to look out for our neighbors especially our elders um because we want them to be looked out for okay that's what we need to do <laughs> um so got enough time to get my earrings in i like the ones i had in yesterday i don't want to do those again Ear holes gonna start acting up. Before I went to sleep, I was so hungry, y'all. Oh my goodness. Luckily, I just got past it and I sipped on some water, but I was hungry. I wanted some food. And y'all know, y'all heard me talk. If you see my videos by now, you know I like to eat. <laughs> I was so hungry and I have um I just know it's best for me not to eat before I lay down I know that's not good but I, I really was you guys and I have these um plant-based breakfast sausages that I like to like when I do have them I like to have them um on bread with a little bit of mustard. Oh my goodness. I'm about to cut up, y'all. Um, on bread with a little bit of mustard. And I kind of looked in the freezer and just looked at the pack. I actually have two packs of them because they were buy one, get one free. But um, yeah, honey was hungry. I'm still hungry, but I think that once I get some coffee, sometimes that intense hunger goes away. And then I'll just have, I have these acai bowls that I had gotten on one of my last grocery orders that are still in the freezer. There's actually two of them in the freezer. And so maybe I'll take one of those to have at my first break. That's usually about the time I eat my first something of the day. It's like around my first break, which is like around seven. So maybe I'll take one of those. I think, I, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Sometimes I just take a yogurt and a granola bar or something for my first break, but 
or I'll take bananas. I love bananas, but I don't have any bananas. I had one left and it was like on its last leg, so I had to get rid of it. <laughs> One more earring. See, I got my sticker. My sticker is silver this year. just text me I'm almost home don't leave yet <laughs> so okay you guys <laughs> three so, minutes <laughs> sorry about that okay guys well, I'm getting ready to go ahead and get my uh, my hoodie and my bag and stuff and grab my um, my work shirt and get my coffee and get ready to get on out the door so enjoy the rest of your day <laughs> This beautiful bag, you guys. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Aubrey. You are 